Hey everyone, so I've gotten a few requests over the past couple of months for my setup video, which I really originally hadn't been planning to do, but I suppose I might as well. Um, on the note of the tech videos, yeah, I know they've been mounting up a bit. Um, I suppose a lot of my people here are subscribing because they want to see the 3D stuff, and, but some of them are also here for the CGI, for the tech. So, from tomorrow, I'm going to start doing a week of 3D and CGI. Um, I'll probably get a few tutorials uploaded. Um, got some stuff to do for Lightwave, and for Max, and for After Effects. So there should be something there for everyone. Um, and I might do it on a week by week basis. Tech one week, CGI the next week. Um, I'll have to see how that goes. And um, just to sort of balance it all out, so you get what you're looking for on the channel. Um, so yeah, um, set up video. Here we go. All right, so here we have a connection of speakers and an amp. This was originally my first um, speaker system. I've got two uh, two 800 watt speakers, Pro Sound, and I've got a kind of karaoke machine there, which I don't actually use for the intended purpose. And there I've got two uh, 200 watt Pro Sound speakers and a 200 watt amp there, which really isn't powerful enough to drive everything, but it works. So. Um, on top there, we've got the old iMac G5. I couldn't really think of anywhere that this would fit, so I guess I'll use it as a kind of iPod, mid large iPod kind of thing. Then we've got a mic beside it. I've got to do this really quickly because um, I don't want to have to edit this to death. So we've got a speaker there and a speaker on the other side of the room. And we've got various old DVDs here. PS3 games, 360, no, Xbox One games, 360 games, and two shelves of PC games there. Oh, and a, a Sky Plus remote. There we've got an old light, which I use just to illuminate my room when it's particularly dark. And the wardrobe here, we've got a variety of cables, old equipment, a couple of old laptops there. I've been collecting those. And a few old, old cables, old cables, and more old cables. they have got a few games in there, uh, two camera cases, a portable DVD player, and a stick of RAM. That's actually some of the blown fried Corsair RAM. And uh, season one, I think it is, of DS9. So here we've got my TV set up, got a PS3 there, controller on top, a remote at the side there, and the headset or earpiece. Got a Sky Plus HD remote there, and the TV remote. The TV is a 40 inch Sony Bravia LCD 1080p, got that in 2007. That appears to be a HD version of Border Force playing there, but I don't know what that's about. And here we've got a center speaker. My projector, um, got a WDTP there, an Apple TV there. I've got to configure that with my new iMac. We've got an, an Xbox 360 over there, and here we've got a Slingbox Solo, a Sky HD box, the amp, a subwoofer, a few drawers and stuff. So here we've got a wardrobe. I drilled holes in natural fans for the render farm. More old cables, more old cables. A kind of a PC server kind of thing that came free with something once, which didn't work. Got a joystick in there for flight simulator. Um, an old amplifier, which doesn't work. A um, old kind of CD drive, kind of a clone of the Mac drive. A couple of old PC there. We've got a shuttle PC. HP, uh, an old iBook, and a HPE Vector there, along with various cables. In here, got yeah a few cables in there as well. An old tape drive from Sony. A portable DVD player which didn't work, and an old router which was fried by lightning. Well, that's ironic. Um, a few DVDs in there, some Nintendo Wii games. Um, a media player thing, which also doesn't work. Why does so much of this not work, and why do I keep it? 
good questions. So here we've got a few of my collection of gaming consoles. Two Xbox 360s. Only one of them works. They're both replacements for dead 360s which were modded. The one which does work, which is that one down there, is actually banned. So, yeah. And i got to really hurry here. So I've got a, an old PSP 2000. The slim and light version. Nintendo DSi. A Game Park GP2X. A PSP Go. A PS3, which I'm not sure that works on. I don't think it does. A PS1. Dreamcast. GameCube and N64, they all work. A uh, USB speaker there. Here we've got four Xbox Ones. Now, I didn't go paying ridiculous amounts for these. I mean, that wouldn't be reasonable. I got them for like five euro each, each online. And I, I decided to combine them for a, a cluster PC render car, farm kind of thing. So that's working pretty well. Um, we've got two Nintendo Wii's there. Uh, one of them, actually I think both of them work, but only one of them is modded. Uh, the reason I have the second one is because I received, uh, I bought a broken one online for about 50 euro, put a new drive into it, so I'm probably going to sell that on later. Um, oh yeah, all the Xbox ones are flash modded. So there we've got the other cinema speaker, an original iPod video, and the iPhone, which is doing pretty well. Been there for about a year, so I'll probably upgrade it this uh, this Christmas or so to a 3GS. It's the 16 gig version. Two apps for remotes, remote for the w WDTV, my camera remote, Call of Duty 4 and Quake 4 speaker, a mount for the camera, the iMac 27 inch, which as always is doing well. Uh, it's got the yellow screen, the yellow tint problem, so. Apple are going to drop off a new one and pick this up sometime next month. I've got no problem with that, so, yeah. Down here we've got a Apple, no, an iPod speaker. A few old CPUs and cables in this drawer. There's the remote for my projector. My Blu-ray collection, which has been there since, well, it's been growing since I got my PS3. I don't know how many are there, I haven't counted them. No, I'm not that big of a nerd. So over here we've got the Apple Magic Mouse, the wireless keyboard, a light, another speaker, the Arco 7 and a bottle of Coke. OPCs down there. I'll probably save up for a 5970, I just heard they came out recently. A few cameras and stuff in there. A, a cheap video camera which I got on eBay which works decently. A digital camera in there. A USB hard drive dock, a few power line adapters, and a micro projector. Then down there we've got a UPS, which I'm sure I'll be needing tonight. And we've got uh, a multi socket power cable thing. So I'm gonna go quick, I'm running out of time. Here we've got a small screen, a pair of headphones, a uh, small speaker system for it, and a video to VGA converter. In here, go all my PSP games, DS games, and a few DVDs. And yeah, just cables down there. Over here, got my keyboard, which I'll probably use with um, I'll probably use that with iTunes. Sorry, I'm going too fast. I'll probably use it with um, GarageBand, um, and a few of the various plugins for it. And um, so yeah, I think that's just about everything. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you all next time.